Good day, everyone. This is Bill from the National Weather Service Forecast Office here in Grand Forks, North Dakota. We're going to speak for a few minutes today on comparisons, first of all, between last winter, 2018-19, and the current one, 2019-20. We'll compare that essentially in terms of snowfall amounts, and then we will try to take a little bit of a look ahead into February and then into uh, the spring as well. So that would cover the period heading into March and April. Now, first of all, here is a spreadsheet that we use here at the office. Essentially, it gives us the snowfall year to date or season to date, actually. So this, you can see where that red arrow is. That is the snow that we've received so far here at the office in Grand Forks. And you might remember a big storm in October. So it started pretty quickly. So as of just about now or yesterday, say um, January 22nd, we had 49.3 inches of snow for this winter season. Just as a comparison, we have that red column there. That was uh, last year's snowfall to date. So if you can compare both of those, you see 29.8 where the blue arrow is pointing. That is what we had as of January 22nd last year. So we're a good 20 inches above where we were last year. That doesn't uh, look too good, especially in terms of upcoming spring flooding, of course. However, we should remember that February of last year was just about the highest snowfall total on record for February. We had about 26, 27 inches of snow last February. So hopefully the odds will favor us. We will close that gap next month. We won't get quite as much snowfall, and the difference between last season and this will not be quite as stark as it is right now. That's at least what we're hoping for. Now, here's a little bit of a look at next month in terms of uh, or provided by the National Weather Service uh, Climate Prediction Center in Washington. This, these are forecasts you can see for the entire country. Basically, it looks like kind of a continuation of what we've been having. You can see we're in the area of kind of dark blue there for temperature, which means that there's a strong signal that temperatures will be below normal uh, for the month ahead in February. Looking at precipitation, that's the second graphic on the right side below. Well, it looks like at least we may have a little bit of a break from all that above normal precipitation and snow that we've been getting. We're in a white color, you can see, neither green nor brown. So neither, there's not a signal for either above or below. It doesn't mean it's going to be normal. It just means there's not a good way to tell exactly what is going to happen just yet uh, for the month ahead. Now we will take a look at kind of like a season ahead for the next three months. This uh, covers the period from February, March, and April. And unfortunately, you can see for most of us not liking <laughs> deep cold, uh, we still have a strong signal that the temperature will be uh, below normal for those three months coming up. And likewise, the precipitation signal, although not quite as, as stark as it was uh, for February, uh, looks like still an above normal trend will be moving into the next three months. But it, as I say, at least we're not in that dark green. We're in kind of a lighter green, so the signal is not quite as strong. Now we are going to finish on an up note for the end of this because at least uh, we do have some warmer weather which is already in progress around here and it is going to uh, most likely continue right on into the end of the month. You can see here is the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook so that covers the period from now right up until January 31st and it does look like there's a probability of 70 percent or more that we will achieve higher than normal temperatures for that last week of January. So since the normal temperatures or the highs would normally be 15 to 20 above zero, we are certainly looking at readings uh, in the 20s to maybe even near freezing uh, to continue uh, right on through the end of this month. Certainly good news. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Have a great day. Good day, everyone. This is Bill from the National Weather Service Forecast Office here in Grand Forks, North Dakota. We're going to speak for a few minutes today on comparisons, first of all, between last winter, 2018-19, and the current one, 2019-20.
We'll compare that essentially in terms of snowfall amounts, and then we will try to take a little bit of a look ahead into February and then into uh, the spring as well. So that would cover the period heading into March and April. Now, first of all, here is a spreadsheet that we use here at the office. Essentially, it gives us the snowfall year to date or season to date, actually. So this, you can see where that red arrow is. That is the snow that we've received so far here at the office in Grand Forks. And you might remember a big storm in October. So it started pretty quickly. So as of just about now or yesterday, say um, January 22nd, we had 49.3 inches of snow for this winter season. Just as a comparison, we have that red column there. That was uh, last year's snowfall to date. So if you can compare both of those, you see 29.8 where the blue arrow is pointing. That is what we had as of January 22nd last year. So we're a good 20 inches above where we were last year. That doesn't uh, look too good, especially in terms of upcoming spring flooding, of course. However, we should remember that February of last year was just about the highest snowfall total on record for February. We had about 26, 27 inches of snow last February. So hopefully the odds will favor us. We will close that gap next month. We won't get quite as much snowfall, and the difference between last season and this will not be quite as stark as it is right now. That's at least what we're hoping for. Now, here's a little bit of a look at next month in terms of uh, or provided by the National Weather Service uh, Climate Prediction Center in Washington. This, these are forecasts you can see for the entire country. Basically, it looks like kind of a continuation of what we've been having. You can see we're in the area of kind of dark blue there for temperature, which means that there's a strong signal that temperatures will be below normal uh, for the month ahead in February. Looking at precipitation, that's the second graphic on the right side below. Well, it looks like at least we may have a little bit of a break from all that above normal precipitation and snow that we've been getting. We're in a white color, you can see, neither green nor brown. So neither, there's not a signal for either above or below. It doesn't mean it's going to be normal. It just means there's not a good way to tell exactly what is going to happen just yet uh, for the month ahead. Now we will take a look at kind of like a season ahead for the next three months. This uh, covers the period from February, March, and April. And unfortunately, you can see for most of us not liking <laughs> deep cold, uh, we still have a strong signal that the temperature will be uh, below normal for those three months coming up. And likewise, the precipitation signal, although not quite as, as stark as it was uh, for February, uh, looks like still an above normal trend will be moving into the next three months. But it, as I say, at least we're not in that dark green. We're in kind of a lighter green, so the signal is not quite as strong. Now we are going to finish on an up note for the end of this because at least uh, we do have some warmer weather which is already in progress around here and it is going to uh, most likely continue right on into the end of the month. You can see here is the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook so that covers the period from now right up until January 31st and it does look like there's a probability of 70 percent or more that we will achieve higher than normal temperatures for that last week of January. So since the normal temperatures or the highs would normally be 15 to 20 above zero, we are certainly looking at readings uh, in the 20s to maybe even near freezing uh, to continue uh, right on through the end of this month. Certainly good news. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Have a great day. Good morning, everyone. This is uh, our winter STOM presentation <laughs> for someday this week, the second week of December, let's say this would have occurred. And what we're looking at here is a graphic depicting the risk of more than two inches of snow. Now, this is essentially just the likelihood that any given area is going to receive at least two or perhaps more. So in this in this little graphic here, you see we kind of have ranges delineated as high, medium, and low. So for the most part, you want to look to see if your area is in the high range, because if you are, that looks like you can bet on 
say two inches at least, as I say, or perhaps more. Uh, and in this graphic, for this particular time frame, it was uh, the highest chance was an area just south of Devil's Lake, say spreading from Cooperstown through Valley City, Ada, Fargo, Wapaton, and then uh, farther east into the Park Rapids and Wadena areas, so into the Minnesota Lakes country. Um, and as you can see, it's most likely that we're going to see less than two inches of snow in areas north or south of those points or that tract. So in this case, roughly speaking, if you head north of Highway 2 or south of Interstate 94, you're probably going to see minimal amounts of snow from this particular system. Now, what are the greatest impacts from this? Well, we were expecting that it's going to be kind of minimal. Uh, however, it will affect the morning ride on into work or school uh, during the morning hours. So you'd have to watch for that. As I say, probably minimal, but if you don't exercise, you know, proper driving and uh, be alert, uh, you could get yourself into a little bit of trouble. The good news here also is that the forecast, this forecast had been solidly on track for the past several days. So a pretty good confidence level that this is indeed going to occur. Then we have a little more of, uh, in terms of details that we tried to uh, give you on this one. Once again, repeating uh, two or more inches of fresh snow, quite possible across a tract from Devil's Lake through Fargo and toward Wadena. And that, of course, is much of eastern North Dakota and west central Minnesota. It's always important to know when it is going to be coming into the region, and that would be this evening, assuming that this is the morning. It would be coming in several more hours. It'll persist right through the night into the early or mid-morning hours for the next day. In this case, we're saying Thursday. And so, therefore, the morning drive on Thursday would be likely to be the most impacted. You could have some traffic snarls, irate motorists, and you're always going to see that person that thinks it's July 12, not December 12. And no matter how well you do, you've got to realize there's going to be someone else uh, out there that could be trying to harm you. Uh, driving as if it's the summer, so be on the lookout there. And as I say, the certainty and considerations, as we previously said, just as confident as can be for this particular situation, and that uh, as far as historical perspective, basically negligible in terms of uh, anything outstanding, pretty routine. Most snows we get here in this neck of the woods are between, say, one and six inches, and this doesn't look to deviate from that. Here's a graphic that is produced by the uh, National Center, the folks at CPC in Washington, D.C. And this depicts kind of like the same thing. You can see that swath of the highest chance for getting one or more inches of snow kind of comes right along the area that we said. If you look uh, way on up, it's from, say, Minot, of course, to south of Devil's Lake and then into the Minnesota Lakes country. And the percentages to get even one inch or more drastically reduce as you go north or south of that finally disappearing once you get towards Lake of the Woods. That area tucked away in um, extreme northwest Minnesota seems that they are not going to get anything from this particular situation. Okay, so that just about wraps it up. So just keep your message in mind that we're going to get a dose of snow measuring two inches, perhaps a little bit more than that along a tract of land or a parcel stretching from Devil's Lake through Fargo and Wadena. Also remember that you could always get the latest information on our link or on our webpage, NWS Grand Forks. You see the other various offices. If you're going to be doing some traveling, you might want to check out some of the other ones we have listed there that, that are adjacent to our office and some of those other links as well. Finally, to check road conditions, remember we are not a service that necessarily does that here. However, we do always provide links to the latest information available. You see there's one for North Dakota, another for Minnesota. So check that out, especially if you are going to be doing any traveling. That wraps it up. Have a great day and stay safe.